plans. The gym doesn't open until 7, so I'll probably go later today. I got my mantra, and I guess I'm headed back home and just chilling out. That's what the universe wants me to do. Alright, let's go home. Yet another freezing ass day. I don't get it. It's supposed to be springtime right now. It's literally like 32 degrees. I'm over it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like wearing my jackets and my, my boots and shit, but it's cold out here, bruh. So today we got a couple things coming in from DM. I got three mules, which are gonna be really, really dope. They have a lug sole on them. One's kind of like a furry mule, it's all black. Another one is just a, it looks like a loafer type suede mule. And then the last one is a more of a fun one. It has like a pink shirling type of pattern on it. So you guys can see that. I'm headed to Target right now. Since it's the weather, my sugar ain't doing pretty good. She's kind of sick, so she called out of work today. So I'm gonna go get some new bed sheets, disinfecting wipes and spray and all that. And then the packages are coming today. Hopefully Allie can pick those up for me and we'll get this review in this video for you guys today and We are getting our asses to the train and then we're going into Center City where Target is We're on our way We are Made it to the North Philadelphia station Hopping on the train Show you guys a little cheat code Pull this bad boy back and Go straight in there, boom And that is how you hop the fucking train shower and then uh we'll be back and we shall do a review i'm so excited for this month's pickups they are all dna we got two boots and we got three mules so you'll check that out in a little bit thanks guys we're going to the bodega to get some egg sandwiches how's everybody doing Allie is still not feeling too well so let's go get her some food. This weather ain't okay, bruh. I mean, it got a little better from this morning, but it was like 30 degrees this morning. It's crazy. All right, let me go grab these sandwiches real quick. Let's go.
Alright, so we got some stuff to present to y'all today. Sherpa lining on the outside, which I really do love. I did want a boot by um, Camper, Camper, I believe the brand is called, and it has like fur on it, but this is a good substitute. These are great for the spring, summertime. I do like something with a loved sole, so I'm glad I actually found something that I can wear in the spring, summertime that has a loved sole. It does have a Sherpa sole on the inside. This is again made by the Italian brand named Vieme. Vibram sole at the bottom, which is pretty awesome. It has this little green hit going all the way around. It looks like it's just single stitch to the claw. Pretty lightweight, it's not very heavy. Um, I did put them on. I was afraid they were gonna kind of love around, but they're actually made pretty light. I'm gonna wear these all season long. These are really awesome. Look at those bad boys. Really, really cool. And then if you see with the outfit or with the jeans I'm wearing, you can have them fall over the jean and it doesn't even look like a clog, to be honest. All right. Let's get number, Woo number two. This is the same mule clog, but with just a little bit of different accent. It has more of like a loafer look, kind of a little point on it. And then it's just completely suede, completely suede. No green stitching around the outside. Again, comes with that garment bag. I'm not going to keep showing you guys. It just comes with a garment bag and some tissue paper. You can see they're very similar, but it's got a little bit of a different flavor to it. This one I, I figured I could wear with like suits and stuff. It has more of like a fine look, especially just the all suede. So yeah, we're definitely wear with these with suits, um, some really cool like trouser shorts, anything that kind of has like a tailoring to it. I'm definitely wearing these bad boys here. And then there we go. We got our two main black ones. I, um, currently do not have a lot of black shoes in my rotation, so I wanted to find some cool ones. Black shoes do get a little boring, so I do try to find something that has something cool, a little accent, some fur, some suede, something, because kind of get lost if you don't have a different textile. And then the final claw, this is the, the really, really awesome one. Now this one's fully lined with Sherpa. Boom, look at that bad boy. So as you know, and you guys will know, I do love wearing pink footwear. Um, I think it's a nice cool pop of color at the bottom. Um, this is the same style as this one, if you can see. It's got that vibrant sole and a little green hit, but they definitely hit it with a different upper, which I do really, really, really like. It's very soft, very, very soft, Sherpa. Looks like they just dyed it, a cool dye pattern on it. And the second one, if you can see what I do like about it is that the patterns are not the same, which is pretty awesome, because then that would look a little cheesy, to be honest. I'm glad they chose something that doesn't match up, so it's kind of a look to it. And then I'm definitely going to be wearing these a lot. Now this is something, you see I got my more fun black one, I've got the refined one that you wear with suits and stuff, and then this is the fun one that I'll wear with parachute pants, uh, cargo pants, all types of shit to be honest. I really, really like these, really, really cool. If you see, we've got our DMS Spring Summer Mules, so these are the three mules. Check it out. I will put a link in the description for you guys to try to find all of these. If not, they're probably sold out, um, but they all do fit great. So just be uh, weary when you do wear mules or claws, you'd rather go a little bit bigger because you're kind of moving around in them. I don't really like to go true to size with claws to have my foot backed up right up against the back. I like to have a little room so it feels like I'm snug in there. Next for the rotation for the spring time, I did get two more DMA and Dove boots, actually called DMA Anatra boots, and those will be coming up next. We got Woo. two Anatra boots. First one, look at that bad boy. What does this remind you of? Definitely that Yeezy 950 look, which that's honestly what I love about these Anatra boots. 
and have that design language of a Yeezy, but then look a little bit more higher end. Now it's a fully suede upper, duck boot at the bottom. I did already go through these in another video, so I won't go too much in depth with them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this in spring, summertime, even with some cool shorts and stuff like that. High socks, um, that's definitely gonna be the look for this summer, shorts and tank tops and like little bandanas around the neck and shit. So that's gonna be a cool little look here. Um, these are really, really dope. I do love these. Um, I am afraid to wear them, to be honest, with like either dark jeans, because I do know that this uh, lighter suede is going to get fucked. So there we go. Beautiful mantra boot. And then we've got, I believe, it's the second one. And this is gonna be the uh, black colorway. Ooh, boy. And this one I'm super excited about. So I got both of these boots. Um, Anatra boots, which are really, really dope. Got the white and the black pair. Um, and if you see, they're just a nice, like, light pair from springtime, and then something I can kind of beat up and get a little exciting in. I didn't want just an all black boot, so I did find something with a little brown accent, which is pretty awesome. Um, so it doesn't just get lost when I wear almost an all black outfit. And then the last boot. And I was actually really excited about this. I want the other colorway, but for right now, green, a green boot is what I was really, really looking for. Boom. It's a Sherling, like, Ugg boot, if you see it has that Ugg form, but with a really dope, love, vibrant sole. And then it does have, like, a cool mud guard on the front. Really, really love these. They are Sherpa lined. Uh, again, a little Sherpa on the inside. Um, keeps those feet nice and warm. Especially if I went to wear, like, shorts and stuff and it's still not warm, warm yet. I could rock these with them, which would be nice and cozy. These are obviously gonna be like my more like chill, lounge, cozy boots to kind of throw on when I'm doing stuff. I actually already wore these, so if you can see the bottom, I got a little too excited. I wore them with an outfit. I'll show the outfit to you guys. It was a really cool outfit, actually. And they felt comfortable. I will say they do run a little small. Um, again, when I'm talking about most of these uh, Sherling line boots, you kind of want to go a half size, full size up, just because that Sherling, if you see it's pretty thick, it does take up a bit of on the boot. And this is actually the only boot I have right now besides those mules that have a Vibram sole. I was really searching for Vibrams, any kind of boot. It doesn't have to be Gamut. But I was searching for boots with a Vibram sole because I know they last. I really want to start buying pieces that I can five, seven, 10 years look at them and be like, damn, still want to wear these bad boys. I'm kind of tired of buying stuff that's kind of on trend, that kind of die. And I've been recycling through styles and fashions a lot. Um, but now that I'm growing older, I want to get something a little bit more consistent, something a little design language for myself that I can really, really evolve into and grow into as an adult. I am turning 30 this year. Whoa, turning 30 this year. So right, we're trying new different things. Uh, but yeah, these are the three boots I got. Um, we'll put the three mules in front of you guys so you can get another look at them. So if you see here, this is my DMA haul I got for March. And I'm pretty excited. So check out that brand. I hope you guys really enjoyed all this stuff that I'm showing you. Um, get excited for more because I'm definitely looking for more pieces to add to the collection. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm really enjoying doing this YouTube thing. I honestly feel like the momentum's picking up. You guys are watching my videos, my vlogs. I'm just trying to figure out what style everyone really enjoys. I'm a jack of all trades, so I really do a lot of different things. And I want to show you guys all the different things I'm into. The next video should be getting a haul together for my girlfriend. We're going to do that. And yeah, on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Woo! This took a lot of work. So hit that like button and let's keep it moving.